Hi, Paul. Hi, Catherine. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Yeah, so not long till the festival now. It's coming up no, quickly. Next week. So what have we got in store? How can we help people sort of like get a feel for how it's going to work? Yeah, because it's never happened before. So I guess people no. are maybe wondering uh, what it's going to look like. So um, we purpose built a, a website. And when people log in there using the login details that we've given them when they bought a ticket, those are all going out on Friday, I think. Um, they'll come to a main landing page, which will have different tiles, different squares with images of the different venues they can go in. Our two main venues we've got this year are the canopy. So you can click onto the canopy and you can go in there and you can see the program of different canopy artists that we've got playing throughout the day. Or you can go to the pagoda and you can log into that live stream and see the panels that will be happening in the day. And there'll be about half an hour between each of the shows um, that people can kind of decide where they're going to next. So time to go and grab a drink between sessions, go to the loo, things like that. Things that Very you important. Yeah. yeah, but as well as those main spaces within the same view, the same page that Catherine's described that you land on, uh, we're going to have the foundry, which will be a place where you can have um, take things on after panel discussions, uh, go a little bit deeper on those. Or there's uh, extra sessions that we've got um, programmed in there as well. We've got some performance. Smaller sessions. They'll be smaller kind of sessions. like smaller maybe um restricted numbers in there um so that you can really have a bit of a chat about things rather than just viewing talk. yeah a whole different sort of feel in there much more yeah. participative more intimate uh yeah smaller numbers we've also got the jesus arms up and running i mean it wouldn't be a festival how could we not <laughs> yeah and as well as sort of open tables and a main bar area when you go into that area we'll also have some program stuff in there across the day you know festival favorites classic moments like uh, the old plow folk club a 10 by 9 storytelling session all sorts and beer and hymns yeah um yes so that that'll be we've also got a cinema a cinema venue we have so that will be a place where we're putting um a couple of uh, film documentaries that will be on demand for people to watch whenever they want over the weekend. And also we've co we've compiled some talks that we've done from the last few festivals and we've subtitled them and they're talks that we think are brilliant. So we've put them up there um, so that people can watch them if they can't find anything else to do. So that's all going to be within this one view. No logging out and coming back in or going off to a different area, a platform or a different web browser. It's all going to be within the one window. Once you're in, £10 pass and you're in with your code, you're in for the whole day. You can go to whatever you want. You can move around. And I guess the other good thing is that we're going to be packaging up a whole bunch of children's and family content that will be out and about on our YouTube channel. So that's going to be free to access all day all day long for so if you're watching it with your kids and stuff there'll be stuff that they can they can get stuck into as well that won't be behind the paywall that's all free we're really taking our foot off the pedal on the sunday and we're saying hey come on have a lie in give yourself a break um and we're going to be arranging a picnic at 12 30 and we're going to be dishing up a fantastically put together package of film and video and material that's going to come out at 12 30 on our social media channels facebook and youtube and the idea is you grab a picnic, go out somewhere, your garden, your balcony. I don't know if you've got an outside yard or a space balcony. Who's living with this house with a balcony? Uh, right. I need to go and watch this from your house uh, or a local park or a local hillside. Grab your phone, get some 4G if you can possibly get connected and uh, join us for a, a festival picnic instead of our festival communion. Yeah. And that's it. That's, that's your Greenbelt weekend. That's it. And also the good news, all pass holders, if you've got a code and you've bought your £10 ticket, you will then during September be able to watch back on the Canopy and the Pagoda live stream sessions. So if you miss out on something and there's a clash across the day, you can catch up again and watch what you missed during September, all for the same code and the same price. What a bargain. Yeah, absolutely.